for anyone to rise in life and maintain the level to which he or she has risen a certain sacrifice must be made speaking of sacrifice i'm not referring to anything fetish or something out of the ordinary is a sacrifice that anyone can make no matter your level no matter who you are you can make this sacrifice in fact it is necessary to make this sacrifice because i perceive the lord is taking someone hearing me now to a greater level a greater height in life god is taking you to high places it's important that you understand that you need to make this sacrifice what sacrifice is it i'm referring to humility humility is the ultimate sacrifice for sustenance when you get to the top growing up as a young minister and as a young believer one of the most important lessons i was taught was humility in fact dating back to when i was a teenager my mom used to teach me a lot about humility so i grew up when i started frequenting the church and discovering the call of god upon my life i held on to the teachings I received with regards to humility and I can tell you men and brethren it has seen me far in life I have come a long way I've been able to walk through impossible doors because of humility now you hear of people who fell from grace someone was up there but all of a sudden he or she fell from grace so people are only interested in the fall but only a little bother to investigate to find out the reason for the fall of such a great and mighty man and surprisingly most drastic fall of men can be attributed to pride the Bible says pride goes before downfall. So if you find anyone who is so arrogant and proud, that person is pending drastic fall. Watch out. That person may soon fall. So I want to share with you five reasons you should be humble. Five reasons to stay humble. Five reasons why you should make the sacrifice of humility number one reason is this this is the most important reason christ our role model was very humble the bible says that he left his glory in heaven came down to earth reduced himself to nothing he was so humble he even washed the feet of men he washed the feet of his disciples christ was so humble and if you understand what it means to be a christian to me christianity is not a religion i just i just don't see christianity as a religion christianity is a lifestyle it is a lifestyle so it is a situation where you pattern your life after christ It's a situation where you mimic christ where you follow the footsteps of christ and one of the characters christ exhibited throughout his earthly life was humility he was so humble he was so humble so you can say you are a child of god you are born again you are a christian but you are not humble so number one reason why we must be humble is because christ our role model was very humble and secondly humility is the biblical way to rise humility is the biblical way to rise the bible says he that humbles himself shall be exalted so if you want to be exalted you want to rise in life humble yourself it is the biblical way to rise you don't rise by fighting everyone around you you don't rise by arguing a lot you don't rise by bribing your way to the top i'm telling you you might succeed in bribing your way to the top but somewhere along the line you will pay the price and the price might be worse than an ordinary fall humble yourself 
and the Lord will lift you up. That is the second reason to stay humble. If you desire to rise, if you desire to rise, in addition to your hard work, in addition to investing in yourself, in addition to doing all the necessary things you have to do in order to rise, you must humble yourself. All right? Humble yourself and the Lord will lift you up. So the third reason to stay humble is because humility opens the door of favor with man. Humility opens the door of favor with man. There are people out there who are highly blessed. And so many of them, mere looking at them, by just looking at them, you may not even see their worth. There are people who are highly blessed and they walk the streets like ordinary men. You see them in the mall, you see them in offices, you see them in, in corporate places, corporate institutions. They are just so simple, but they have the capacity to change somebody's life. So you are trying to rise, but you are not humble. Remember, sometimes God uses somebody to lift another up. God can use a person to lift someone else up. If God wants to bless you now, he will send somebody your way, somebody to bless you, somebody to drop a seed in your life that would change your life forever. But if you are not humble, you will cross path with this potential helpers. And because of your pride, that help will pass you. Be humble. People are watching you. People are watching you. They are observing you. The way you talk, the way you do what you do, they are watching you. They are listening. They are observing you. Including those that heaven has ordained to bless you. They are watching you. The only thing that can make you lose your potential helpers, your destiny helpers, is pride. So when you humble yourself, do not forget this. When you humble yourself, you open the door of favor with man. People will start favoring you. Oh, you are so humble. So that's number three. Humility opens the door of favor with man. Number fourth reason why you should be humble is this. Humility keeps you from trouble. Humility keeps you out of trouble. Hmm. I've seen road rage before that did not end well because of pride. Because some are not humble. If you are at fault, please be humble enough to say, I'm sorry. Be humble enough to admit that you are at fault. Humble yourself. It will keep you out of trouble. It will keep you out of trouble. Some fights are unnecessary. Some exchange of words and throwing blows, throwing blows are unnecessary. Just humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. There are so many who have been unalived today because of pride. There are so many that have attracted so much enemies to their lives because of their pride. And you must understand that God hates pride. God hates pride. As a matter of fact, the devil lost his place in heaven because of pride. So if you are a proud person, you will not have God's covering. He won't cover you. Be humble. It will keep you away from trouble. And the fifth reason why you need to be humble is this. God favors the humble. If you are humble, God will favor you. If you are humble, God will favor you. See, I can be anything on the pulpit. I can be anything on that platform over there. Papa, daddy, whatever. My apostle and all of those things. You see people who are old enough to be my father. Kneeling down to say I must pray for them. Oh, Jesus. Well, I will do the work of a priest in their lives. But when I get down from there, I will be the one to kneel before them to greet them. <laughs> Sometimes I prostrate on my belly. It is something natural. My mother taught me that. And I've seen what humility can do in the life of a man. Therefore, I must remain humble. And to be quite honest with you, 
I have not lived a humble life in vain. God has favored me greatly. You are looking at a man whom God has helped. This is my testimony. God has helped me so much. And I will remain humble. So this is it. The five reasons why you must be humble. May God bless you. I believe this short uh, message has blessed you. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in the next video.